Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living in a term worth having. In order to do that, we have to bring ourselves to networking. When we go to networking events, we often socialize in different ways. We often learn different information about people, whether or not we think it's professional or not, or whether it's a personal uh, bent instant that someone's going on. A lot of people who have marvelous Catholic friends or uh, soulmates like I do who are Catholic know a little bit about the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes come from the Sermon on the Mount and they are basically eight things that people are supposed to consider in their own spirituality as a man. The first one is called the blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For a pagan that sort of means that anyone has access to the mother and father of all earth. The second is blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. And openly, basically, what that saying is that a person of faith, we should be considering the impoverished and how we can help them to grow. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Uh, the obvious stint here is that when you are on a faith walk, a faith journey, a journey with Jesus, say uh, a mountain with Muhammad and whatever you might do with Lord Odin if you're like me and I'm just throwing that in there because my faith does deserve to be considered and I do love the Beatitudes myself I have to say I believe it means that if you're seeking God you will find him blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy and I think that basically means that if you see someone in struggle and in trouble that you will reach out and help them without any type of expectation of feedback from the people on the earth, but you will gain a blessing from the Lord from heaven. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. These are the people who truly love the Lord, who know the 316 verse, who believe they're going into heaven because of Jesus' blood, but at the same time they're working in every way to do the things they can in order to move themselves closer and closer to the love of the Lord in their life meaning they're trying to walk their face, they're trying to bless others without conditions, without limitations, and without expectations, and without discrimination. Now, the other ones that we talk about here, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. We really have to look at this because we have a lot of people at war today. We have a lot of racism and reverse racism today. We have a lot of things going on in our communities that create a lot of animosity and a lot of challenges in diversity. And we have a lot of people who are claiming that they are people of faith and yet they are actually harming people with their beliefs. And God is not pleased with that because what God says to all of us, regardless of your um, denomination of faith, regardless of your religion, is that no one shall know God as he is God and he is the maker of all things. Now, in that context, we can move on to blessed are those who are persecuted for righteous sake. And the truth is there is a lot of people like me who have a different faith than the majority and we are, in truth, persecuted. And what the answer obviously is for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And what that means is to God, every human being is important. Every spirit and every soul is of value to the Lord and truthfully those people who are literally looking and seeking Jesus or Muhammad or Odin or whoever Amaterasu whatever their deity is will find peace in their souls they will also become more peaceful and they will become more righteous they will also see the gates of heaven the real question after that is where they will go the final one is blessed are you who when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you and falsely uh, on my account or meaning Jesus' account or on your own account and the, the follow-up is rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven now this can be a hard one for people to think about because sometimes they persecute people in their faith sometimes they they use their concept of discernment to discriminate and ruin our faith and what God is saying to most people through these beatitudes is look you're not God. I am God. I've made everyone, everything, every predilection, every preference, everything that is of heaven, everything that is about love, everything that is about honoring the human soul, and everything is from above. When we have people who are dabbling in satanic forces, either in the human world or the spiritual world, that's when we are in trouble.